Hello everyone, today uh, Sonic Frontiers has been released, uh, the Nintendo Switch version, and if you want to play this game into your PC and don't have a Nintendo Switch, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you. Because in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play Sonic Frontiers and how to install it into your PC. So first, what you need is to install uh, Ryujinx Emulator. So what is Ryujinx Emulator for those who are first time in Nintendo Switch emulation? Um, Ryujinx Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can emulate Nintendo Switch games into your PC. And when you install Ryujinx Emulator, you will need to have these files into your PC. These files are from the Nintendo, Su Nintendo Switch itself, and you have to install them to Ryujinx Emulator. Okay, so first of all, if you want to download Ryujinx Emulator, go to your web browser and just type in Ryujinx Emulator. It for the search uh, the first result, which is ryujinx.org. And then go to the download tab. And you can download on which system you are. If you're from Linux, you can download it here. If you're from Windows, you can download it here. Since I have already installed uh Ryujinx into my PC, I'm just gonna skip this step because installation and downloading uh Ryujinx emulator is very easy to do. So I'm gonna assume that you have already installed Ryujinx emulator. So what's the next step? The next step is you need to have a uh, Ryujinx emulator to install the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys into your Ryujinx emulator. Without these files here, Ryujinx emulator will not be able to detect and play any Nintendo Switch games. So where can you get them? Legally, you can get this firmware and keys from a modded Nintendo Switch. It should have a custom firmware that, Nint that modded Nintendo Switch because if you have a custom firmware, then it can access the Nintendo Switch files. Then you can just copy the latest firmware version and the latest keys for that Nintendo Switch. Once you have done that, just, just, just put it into your PC and you will need to install it through Ryujinx emulator. Then you will need to have a physical copy of Sonic Frontiers. Then you will need to digitally back it up into an XEI or NSP file format. But if you don't know how to do that or where to get them, you don't know you don't have any idea how to get them, then I'm going to show you. So to save you the hassle, I'm going to leave a QR code here. Just scan it with your QR code reader with your Android or iOS mobile device. Then you will be redirected to the page on where you can get the firmware, the keys, and the Sonic Frontiers game. So I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded the files from the site that I have shown you by the QR code. Then go back to your Ujinx and then open file. You need to install the firmware now. I mean the keys now. Go to open Ryujinx folder and then go to system and then open these keys here and then just copy these files, drag and drop. This is the first installation, then this folder will be empty. Close this folder, then go to tools, go to install firmware, install a firmware from XEI or zip file and then choose the firmware version. Wait for the notification, hit yes, and then system version 15 successfully installed. Okay, so once you have these files and have installed it to your Ujinx emulator, your Ujinx emulator will be able to detect the XEI files of your Nintendo Switch games, such as Sonic Frontiers here. So you will need now to optimize Ujinx emulator in order to play this Nintendo Switch games. So just copy my settings. If you need to pause the video, just pause the video. The game directory here is wherein you will put your XCI or NSP file for the Nintendo Switch games. So remember that the files extension for the Nintendo Switch for Ryujinx to detect is XCI and NSP. Then go to input, configure. Then if you have a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, it can be detected here, just like mine. If you have a PS4, PlayStation, or Xbox controller, or any controller at all, it will be detected here and you can map it up. So I'm going to just hit close in the graphics tab. I mean, in the system tab, just copy my settings here. Enable VSync, enable PPTC, volume, boost and check, then go to graphics, on, then Vulkan, then choose your preferred graphics card. Mine is 2070 Super. Enable shader cache and my native resolution, which is 1440p. Then hit apply and save. And then there you go. You have optimized uh, region simulator to play any Nintendo Switch games now in Region Simulator. So I'm gonna show you some. Uh, I'm gonna show you that Sonic Frontiers boot up in Region Simulator now. 
go. I'm going to click on it. And a little bit of disclaimer. I will not going to show you a gameplay that I'm playing the game now, but I'm just only going to show you that it's booting up into the title screen. Because if I show you some gameplay, then I will have some major problems with Nintendo because Nintendo is very strict on this part in emulating Nintendo Switch games. So I will not going to show you a gameplay, but only the title screen that um, Sonic Frontiers boots up perfectly well and runs well in PC using Regions Emulator. So there you go. It's booting up perfectly, running 30 FPS. So I'm just going to stop the emulation. If you have followed all the steps that I have done, you can play any Nintendo Switch games if you have the firmware and the keys and the XCI file format of an any Nintendo Switch games, you will be able to play it with UJinx Emulator if you follow all the steps. So if you have some problems, questions regarding on the installation process of Sonic Frontiers into your PC, then leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Thank you again for watching and please do subscribe and goodbye for now.